Finally, Midjourney has released its long-awaited in-painting feature called Vary Region. It allows you to select a region inside your image and then enter a prompt to generate a new image inside that region. Here's all the cool things we can do with in-painting. First, turn on Remix Mode. This is a portrait of a woman I've generated and upscaled. Let's see if we can give her different colored eyes. Click on the new Vary Region button, which is the in-painting tool. A new interface pops up with our image. Using the Draw Rectangle tool in the bottom left, click and drag to select the region of the image to in-paint. A checkered rectangle will display where you've selected. Now inside the new prompt, let's ask for a light blue eye. We'll use Style Raw and set the stylized value to zero to avoid Midjourney's creative interpretations. Perfect. Next, we'll add a green eye. Use the Vary Region feature again and drag a box around the right eye. Oops, I didn't select the eye correctly. To undo your selection, just hover over it and right click. Alternatively, you can use the undo button on the top left. I suggest you use and right click to deselect because if you have multiple regions selected, you can specifically choose to remove one region instead of undoing all of them. With a fixed rectangle selection over the eye, we'll prompt for a green eye this time. The one in the top left looks good. Let's upscale it. And that's how to generate different eye colors in Midjourney. We can also select multiple regions to in-paint. Just click and drag over all the parts of the image you want to in-paint. Let's prompt for face paint this time. On a previous video about generating multiple subjects, one of my viewers asked me, the only issue would be creating images of two subjects interacting with each other, such as Batman and Spider-Man hugging. Do you have any suggestions for that? Great question. Let's see what we can do. If we naively prompt for Batman hugging Spider-Man, Midjourney gets confused and mixes the two identities together. Instead, we'll use a new Vary Region feature to paint the two identities of Batman and Spider-Man separately. Start by generating a base image of two men hugging. With Remix Mode still turned on, click the Vary Region button. We'll use the Lasso Selection tool this time. Just like the Rectangle Selection, the Lasso Selection tool allows you to choose a region to in-paint, except you can customize the shape yourself. It's a little tricky to use, but basically just click and drag like before to select a region. Carefully select the silhouette of one man. This will take multiple selections. Don't forget you can right click to undo a selection. Now with the man on the left fully selected, prompt for Batman hugging. The iconic mask has been generated and we can even see the bat logo on his chest. Now using the very region tool again, select the other man. This time, let's prompt for Spider-Man hugging. Our image looks okay at first glance, but taking a closer look, we see there are some issues. For example, these weird hands on the back of Spider-Man. To fix that, use the very region button again. Select the areas covering the hands and background and prompt for a building. One of the hands got removed and the other hand got repainted to match Batman's attire, which makes more sense and is more congruent. There's also this hair behind Batman's head, which looks kind of weird. So I've selected the region around Batman's head again and asked for Midjourney to generate Batman again. The hair is mostly removed. The head is a little small and the details aren't perfect, but you can tinker around with this more to get better results. I'm pretty sure Batman and Spider-Man are in different comic book franchises, but it would be cool to see them do a crossover movie. Just like any other prompt in Midjourney, you can add in your own image to use as a reference. Here's an image of an empty road I've generated. And now I've inpainted in a blue car. I can also upload an image of a car and use it as a reference. Just right click and copy link. Then inside the very region feature, with the inpainting area selected, paste your image link into the prompt and Midjourney will use your reference image for inpainting. The generated inpainting cars now take the stylistic look of our uploaded car image. Very region can also be done with remix mode turned off. You can still select an area to do the inpainting, but there's no longer a place to enter a prompt. Now when you generate images, Midjourney you will use the context of the surrounding area to do the inpainting, and also the original prompt for the initial image generations. In this inpainted version of the woman's face, we can see that the lips have some different colors and shapes. Inpainting is an exciting new feature. If you want to stay up to date with the newest techniques and tips, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.